Round and round they go. Who will win? Nobody knows. The first High Rollers Home Roller Derby bout of the season is this weekend. And Monica Davis, a.k.a. Jungle Jane, and Steph Almacy, Scarlett Alsmashy, mm -hmm. correct, is her stage name. Both of these ladies join us now with all the details. And I do want to show that you guys are on skates. So thank you <laughs> for coming here. Sure. So this is what you guys do. I've never been to a game, but tell me a little bit more about the High Rollers. Well, uh, we started in 2008. We were established. Okay. Uh, we've been in the Charleston area for some time. We've just transitioned to a new practice venue in North okay. Charleston. Uh, we're with the indoor sports of the Low Country. Okay. Ice Hall okay. in North Charleston. Um, we're a fun group of girls. Yeah, so this yeah. home opener is this Saturday. Uh -huh. And what can people expect? It's great for anyone to come, kids, all ages. families, all ages. Yeah, it's going to be, there'll be two bouts. Okay. Um, and it's just a really exciting, fun way to see people doing sports. Yeah, so now I, I don't know much about roller derby. For, so from someone who's never been, you know, how does it play out? It's like, how do you play? What happens? Well, there are two teams okay. and five players, skaters, go mm -hmm. out from each team at a time. Each team will have a jammer. Okay. And then there'll be four blockers from each team. Okay. So that one and four is five. Okay. And the object is for the jammer from each team to mm -hmm. try and pass the opposing team's blockers. Okay. So those blockers are trying to get their jammers through and stop the other jammer at the same time. Do you guys get hurt? I mean, yes. jammer sounds yes. pretty. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> like it's what's a full, the worst injury that you've had? It's a full contact sport. Yeah. Uh, I have, uh, well, I just had surgery because I had a ligament torn in my thumb oh my last goodness. year. We've had girls with broken bones. Yeah. Yeah. Broken ankles. Um, but the fun, the fun is worth it. I mean, you keep, it you is. keep doing it. It is so fun. It's yeah. a bit of an addiction, I think. Yeah. 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 And what's <laughs> interesting, you know, I was asking you, how did you get into this? And you said you just read something in the paper. Right? Yeah, the city paper had done an article okay. on the, the girls when they first formed the team, mm -hmm. and it just looked so exciting mm -hmm. and interesting that but I wanted to were try. you a skater? Oh, no. No. <laughs> so you joined the team <laughs> without knowing how to skate. How about you? Same thing. Yeah. Um, it's something that I had seen before, that movie Whip It, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> came out, and I thought, oh, I want to do I that so do bad. That. <laughs> uh, and I, I just recently moved here, so... Okay. Back, Great way to make back friends. From, back from home, actually, mm -hmm. was where I skated before. Okay. And th when they start up a league there, I, I have to do this. That's good. So the home opener, your proceeds go to a local charity. Tell mm -hmm. me more about that. Yes. We're doing reading partners. Okay. Uh, they're in the Charleston area. Mm -hmm. uh, they uh, partner, uh, they tutor kids and help with uh, improving literacy in the Charleston area. Okay. And tickets, how much do they cost to get in? They are $10 in advance. Okay. Or 15 at the door, five for kids. Mm -hmm. five, uh, under five are under free. Five are free. They're okay, so it doesn't cost <laughs> much to go in and see all this fun. And you said, you know, it depends on your schedule whether or not you're going to, you know, you're traveling. But if people can't make it this Saturday, your next game is. It's on the 28th. The 28th. Mm -hmm. And how long do you guys foresee yourself doing this? Like Until you Until they say we can. Yeah. <laughs> how many exactly. women do you have on the team? Currently, we have about 40. 40 people. Mm -hmm. And your practices, or how frequently? We practice right now three times a week. Okay. Uh, we're always looking for new practice spaces so that we can increase. Okay. Are you recruiting right now? So let's say someone watching. We are always recruiting. <laughs> so if you're watching and you want to get on skates, like I know you guys are, it's hard because you're mic'd up, but like are your moves really fancy that you do? You I'm have not to skate fast. Yeah. You have to be agile yeah. and skating backwards is good. Yeah. Uh, being able to turn around or transition from forward to backward okay. is a good way to do it. But, um, you know, I've seen people start skating by holding the wall and then they that turn into mm -hmm. amazing yeah. skaters. So it's, much fun. it's practice. So much fun. So, well, ladies, yeah. thank you so much for coming again this weekend. The Low Country High Rollers, it is your home opening game. Ten dollars, you said correct if you buy tickets in advance mm -hmm. so go ahead and do it great place for all ages to have fun bring the family come see these ladies play a great game and we'll be back with much more right here in low country live